<laughs> Teresa, let me tell you something. Girl, all this shit is going on with the, the infamous slap. The slap is over. We'll apologize. Yeah. Chris Rock's Chris Rock's ticket sales has went through the roof. The, okay. Everybody is confident on the other side. All these black comics, I'm sorry, if it would have been me, I would have did. Woo, woo, woo. First of all, if you're black famous, it wasn't going to be you. In order to get to the Oscars, you have to be mainstream famous. That's let's start right there. So right. all that what you would have did, you have to be put in that position in order. And when you're in that position, they write everything has to be approved before you say it live. On just like when we did, they read. We had to write all that shit out. He went off track. We always we want to blame Will. Will now we I'm not promoting the violence, but hear me when I tell you, Will takes the sanctity of marriage extremely serious. That is his wife. That ain't so his what? side bitch. That ain't no home. That ain't no bitch he fucking. That ain't his baby mama. That's that his is his wife. wife of 25 oh. years and the mother of his children. So let me say a uh, 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 the famous actress and I fell out this weekend over this. And I'm gonna tell you why we fell out. Because, you know, politically, you're always trying to be on the right side when you're talking to people and you, you try to say the right things. But when you call me all the time about drama, you call me, girl, what's wrong with so-and-so? Girl, what's wrong with this? And she called me at the wrong time, asking me what was wrong with Will, and I said nothing. And she said, did you see what he did? I said, I was watching it because all the ladies was in my room. This was wrap-up. And I was watching it and I said, okay, because his wife was assaulted. She wasn't insulted. She was assaulted. We have the right in this country to bear arms. Why is that? Why in this country do we have the right to bear arms? I'm talking about the Constitution. It is there to defend yourself. We teach our babies and say, oh, you don't hit back. You don't do this. And now we got a country full of bullies. And we got yeah. Columbine. We got all this stuff, but the kids now they go they go and they shoot because nobody is there to defend them. He, they were bullied on a platform where they should have been celebrated. What I'm trying to understand is why is it the Oscars, which is a platform where they have all of these writers and all of this stuff, and they can't do anything else except make fun of the people that they're supposed to be celebrating? And why don't they know that's a very tense moment and anything can happen? So this time. Mr. Chris Rock decided to assault his wife. Now, let me bring it full circle. You know I have the most calm husband there is. There was an incident where some man decided that he was going to tell my husband that he wasn't going to pay me all loud out in front of everybody. And John took his cane because he had just had hip surgery. And he stuck it in that man's face and said, I hope you try it. And everybody was calling me, John. And John, I hear, he did, I said, what happened with John? What happened? And then they told me what he did. I said, oh, okay. Hmm. You know why? Because I am his wife. My husband loves me. And you do not push a man up against a wall. A man up against a wall that loves his wife. I'm not his boo thing. I'm not some woman he's screwing. I am his wife. That's this right. Was a very public stage. They assaulted, Chris assaulted, not insulted. He assaulted his wife on a stage. And this man had a temporary moment of, I don't give a goddamn. And he, in a time where he should have been being able to celebrate, was put in a mind frame where he could not. And he had to defend his wife. Now, somebody else maybe would have done it their way, but this wasn't them. This was him. He was sitting in that seat after years of work. I dare you work that hard. I dare you go through the public. I dare people talk about you any kind of way. I dare they challenge you and say, y'all got an open marriage. I dare you. 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 I dare and you let's go back. Let's, let's go back to recent because everything has a root. Will Smith, let, we watching the Oscars. I watched the entire Oscars. Will Smith sat there and enjoyed the program the entire night. Who kicked this off? Who started it with, with Will? Oh, okay. Because y'all keep missing that part. Will sat there with his wife, clapping, laughing, enjoying the entire night. Chris Rock came off, went off track with all the political savvy that he has, with all that's going on in the world. Chris could have went anywhere, but that's where he went. In the words of Eddie Murphy from the movie Light, if you come over here and get my cornbread, it's going to be consequences and repercussions. He fucked with that cornbread. <laughs> so let, let me, yes, let me, let me.
me say, I know some of you all are like, there's never a reason to hit another person. But let me tell, ask you a question. On a platform such as the Oscars, why is it that a joke was being told about anybody's personal life? This is the Oscars. Everybody wants to talk about this was a black thing and this is the first time black. Well, let me tell you something. Write a good script, put a good one together and stop insulting those people that you should be celebrating because it's always a joke about this. They had already made one joke and they sat through it. This is an uncomfortable situation where you're already sitting there wondering if you're gonna win but it already negates it when somebody says something. Why did he need to say, let's just forget that she has alopecia. Let's forget it. Let's forget she has alopecia. Keep, your, keep that woman's name out your mouth. That no, keep my nice wife's joke. name out your fucking mouth is what he said two times. It was, I love just, it. It, was, it was verbal assault. And what I'm trying to understand is when is enough enough? The reason and, and, why why is it that people always talk about the person that reacts instead of the bully? Nobody the talks people, about black the bully. People, black people, stop taking his own like, oh, he set us back. He ain't set us back shit. I didn't do that. That was a, that was what Will did. So that one individual did that. That one and me, individual. And, and, and let me and let me talk about this other thing. Everybody, oh, it was an entanglement. So let me let me address the entanglement. All y'all righteous people. You ain't gonna like me after today because a marriage is something else it's till death do you part not till tomorrow when i didn't want a divorce let's let's talk about this i want because you're talking to the right one now come on gay why is it that an institution that says that they are prestigious are taking pot shots at the very people that they are supposed to be honoring. And then, just like you send your kid to school, you send your kid to school and they bully your kid, and they bully your kid, and your kid goes back and they say, okay, they bully me, mommy. Mommy, they keep bullying me. Mommy, they bully me. Mommy, did you tell the teacher? Yes, I did. Yes, mommy, I told the teacher. I told them, I told them. And then after all of these years of abuse, your child snaps. And then everybody's like, well, little Billy brought a gun to school. Why did little Billy buy a bring a gun to school? Because your ass didn't stop the bully. The problem is, is the bully has gotten out of hand. And on that mm -hmm. night, in that moment, in his weakness, he slapped the shit out of Chris Rock, and Chris Rock mm -hmm. shut that mouth. That's what Be it because is Will is now, it, wasn't his, it wasn't his finest finest hour, and I am not. No, it was saying, not. It's not his finest hour. But when is your mistake? Or let me say, when is any time you got a snap, a finest hour? But let me tell you what it was. It was the hour that it was a moment that he was that his wife was assaulted. It was that moment. And I want you all to understand why you ready to throw him under the bus, why you ready to hate him, why you ready. Because what I want to understand is why you so ready to hate him. And people talking about his wife bullied him. Let me tell you something. Before they ever discuss that, I can promise you. They decided that they were going to do it. Other people going to leak those shit before you leak it. So you got to handle it. And they handled it at the red table. But let me tell you what you're not going to do. Because that's his wife. You mm -hmm. all stop with this. Oh, Will shouldn't have never hit him. Let me tell you. Chris Rock had the, uh, he had the innate right to do this. File charges. And what did he do? He did not. People want to say he took a high road. He finally took the high road. He'd been taking a low road for a long time. The On black people's expense. You... On black people's expense. People keep forgetting that. Let me, talk, let me talk about how I was insulted by him when he talked about black women's hair in his movie. And how, in, how he, Chris Rock insulted all of y'all black women with his movie about black women in hair. You ain't said nothing about that because you're used to being assaulted. You're used to being insulted. You're used to rappers calling you bitches and hoes. So you okay with that. And I'm telling you, I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay with Jay-Z and none of them talking about, I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one of them. I'm not a bitch. I'm not buying that music. 
but you are so used to being assaulted and insulted that this is okay. This is not okay. It's not okay to put a black man in a seat of power and then snatch his masculinity with his wife because you know some of their private business. They handled their private business because people were saying that they were no good parents and they, they weren't handling their kids and they were, they were irresponsible parents and they were this and they were that and they got an open marriage. Well, let's shut the talk down. Let's have a red table. They discussed what they wanted to discuss, but let me be very clear about this. These people are married. And while you are making judgment, walk a mile in their shoes. As I told Sister Girl when she called me wanted to talk and gossip about that, this is not gossip material. This is these people's marriage. And this man stood up on the stage and made a joke about her and then said, well, you beautiful. You can't slap me and then rub me on the cheek and say you didn't do it. He assaulted her from the stage. Her husband saw her face and felt crippled and hurt. Now, if he really wanted to whip his ass, he'd have took a full fist and beat his ass on the stage, but he just slapped him and shut that mouth and went back and to turned house. around and adjusted his vest and walked away with his back to him like, nigga, I dare you. When I tell you, I was so turned on. I <laughs> now, I know y'all like, that's violence. And violence is never the answer. Sometimes it is. Let me tell you why you lying. Why do we have an army? Why do we have an army if violence ain't the answer? What are we doing with an army? Why are you paying taxes for an army if violence ain't the answer? Do you all think that, why you think you're living under the umbrella you're living under if violence ain't the answer? Why do you have an army and why do we have ROTC and all of this and you can have the right to bear arms if it's not the answer? Let's just talk about it and let people beat your ass. Stop with this boo. Why do you have an army in this country? Teresa, you know what's going on. Are you going to turn the other cheek? You see what people happens to the people when they turn the other people cheek? People keep forgetting that we're not they keep forgetting that that man is human. He's flesh and blood, and everyone has a breaking point. I just talked about on The Breakfast Club two weeks ago how Minister Louis Farrakhan promotes standing by your wife, sticking up for your family. You know, that is what I learned from him, because where y'all hear that other bullshit, Will just stood up for his wife. Do I condone the violence? Absolutely not. But do I fall Will? Absolutely not. Because here's the thing. If you were told not to do this and you chose to do it anyway, let, that's the root. Because Will sat there and watched this entire award show all night, just like we did. And he sat there with respect and he laughed and he clapped and he applauded. Chris came out and kicked this off and then it went left. And I hate that. But black people, stop taking this on as he set us back and it's our responsibility. Will Smith was one person. Chris Rock is another person. Let I'm not taking you, responsibility for none of that shit. There was a lot of other stuff that set us back in that show. Y'all just don't want to talk about that loud. I'm going to look at. I'm looking at the memorial and the gospel song was so loud. And they dancing and stuff. I couldn't. I didn't know who died. It was like well, I like. I like that we were celebrating life as opposed to being sad about life. You and New Orleans, and you from New, New, New Orleans. So I'm from New Orleans. You from Louisiana? Tell you right now, I said, "Who died? I can't see what they say." They was laughing. It was laugh. I know that well, black, celebrate. black people in the South, black people in Louisiana, they celebrate when people die. You know, they I'm celebrate their life. But the, I'm from Louisiana. You know what I would have liked? I would have liked for them to roll it and then sing that gospel song. I couldn't tell what the hell was going on or who died. And I would just want to know who died. <laughs> and I just want to give a shout out to Will Packer because I love that he held his composure. I love that they didn't make a scene and run him out and escort him out because here's the thing what y'all keep forgetting. Will, I mean, uh, Will Smith, after he did what he did, the whole altercation, had it been a lesser uh, 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 actor, they would have walked him out the building and escorted him out. Will say he still won the Oscar and they stood up when they called his name. Hear me when I well, tell you, this will disappear in a day or two. Well, it, it, it won't disappear for a moment, Flame. And this is why it can't disappear, because we don't know how to forgive in this country. It takes us a while to forgive. Just like everybody, this is something different because Black people are angry because they feel like it was embarrassing for them. But I think we have a lot of other reasons to be embarrassed other than this one moment. What we should be embarrassed about is the fact that the Academy for the last, I would say the last 15 years, have been insulting and assaulting the people in the audience. They have been writing jokes about people's problems. And it's like they don't know where that line is. And comedy is a great thing, but comedians are like, now we're open season. That's not, this not, this wasn't comedy. This wasn't, this was an assault. 
And if Chris always picks on you, and he's always got something to say about this woman, the question is why? What does he have against Jada Pinkett? What is that? I tell you what. I tell you what, Teresa Griffin. <laughs> he might not want to say much more after that. And everybody talking this and all these, all these black famous comedians. I said what I said. All these black famous comedians. Oh, it couldn't have been me. I would have did this. No, it couldn't have been you. Because in order for it to be you, you have to be mainstream to make it to that platform. So while y'all talking about he should have slapped August Alcina, you don't know what happened behind the scenes between him and August Alcina. Because August Alcina will probably never be invited to the Oscars because he's not in that category. He's black famous. There is a difference between mainstream and black famous. So all it you black famous com comedians with y'all comments, myself included, because I'm only black famous, baby, hear me when I tell you. It don't matter. Y'all talking something. Why he have to do it at the Oscars? This ain't the BET Awards. Why we got to be affiliated with violence? Baby, wherever y'all mama show told me used to tell me if you show out on me anyway i'm gonna show out on you back well i just i got a bigger question do y'all buy dr dre music right because we know what misha lay said some stuff y'all you can't be double-tongued about how you don't like this and you can't do that and, and i don't like this person and that this was this was in one moment Y'all don't even know Will Smith to act oh, like this. What's the song by Whitney Houston? One moment in time. <laughs> I know there was one moment in time Chris Chris Rock saw uh saw stars <laughs> because he was like <laughs> <laughs> but, but much like y'all, I sat there, I processed at first. I didn't think it I did not I didn't ever think it was a joke. I didn't ever think he wasn't angry. I saw this is the same look he had when he slapped that reporter that tried to kiss him. Will got to give him and slap the fire at that nigga. And we'll keep a we'll keep a smile on his face like nigga what? It was so scary. That's scary. Let me tell you some Jackie Jess country. It was disrespectful. Regina Hall touch. First of all, people come y'all trying to compare the Regina Hall joke to what Chris said. Here's the thing. Remember that Jada Pinkett Smith made a movie, Girls Trip, with Regina Hall. So I'm sure after making that movie for months and months and months that they have a relationship as friends, Regina Hall, Will Smith, and Jada Pinkett Smith, just like Tiffany Haddish does, just like Queen Latifah does. So that's not even a comparison. That was not. That was a flirtatious thing. Chris been riding them for quite some time, and Chris was probably warned not to say that. That, that joke was not approved. He went off track. Let's go to the but, source. One more time. Again. Let's go to the source. The source was Chris kicked this off. Do I agree with the violence? No, but Chris kicked this off. Y'all got to go back to the root of the shit. It wasn't his finest hour, but neither is any hour when someone is hurting someone you love. When do you plan that? Do you plan when somebody hurts someone you love? His wife was hurt. She was assaulted. And this was a very horrible moment, you know, that he felt defenseless. His wife, what could she do? Could she get up and go slap him? Because that probably would have been better had she slapped shit out of him. But then that would have emasculated Will. Handle your business. And that's what In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground was where I spent most of my days. <laughs> but, but with us, you know, we we are we build you up to break you down. We can't ever understand the humanity of anything. And that's so scary that we don't understand that he's a human being. And in that, you know, he loves his wife. Through in that he loves his wife. His wife was hurt. If you've seen the look on her face, she was like, oh. it's like I gotta suck this up. I've already explained. While to sitting her. in the front row with all them cameras on her in front of millions and millions of people across the world. I was so embarrassed for her and hurt for her. And nobody's even, you know, even though we want to beat him up over it, you guys got to understand. As an entertainer, I get people that send me girdles. Wear this girdle. Do this. You could have done that. Sometimes I be wanting to go. Find you some business. Go to hell. Yep, man. You, NYB. Rule number three. NYB. Man, you're fucking busy. You know, is it it just because I'm an entertainer doesn't mean it's open season for you to hurt me. 
And this is like, okay, well, they put it out there. Well, y'all put it out there too. Y'all riding on the gossip. And really, social media has made some people think they are newscaster or some or some ant like y'all personal analysts or something. We can, but these are real people. These are real people with real problems. Money don't make you not have problems. 